Hi, this is Trey Pastor, and welcome to Trey Pastor's Saturday Horror Reviews and my uh, Horoscope 101 channel. I'm going to upload this video on that channel as well. Um, like I said last week, um, I got some uh, great videos from Shop Factory from Falagar 517 a great fellow YouTuber, Sammy. And um, I watched Werewolf of Washington. That was the last movie that I watched. So today, or I guess it'll be a couple hours earlier, I watched uh, another movie in the collection. This is the uh, Elvira's movie, Mac Macabre, okay? And the movie in this one is called uh, Frankenstein's Castle of Freaks. There you go. You can see that one right there. This one I watched without um, Elvira's intro, you know, intros and outros. I just wanted to watch the movie itself because, you know, I like any, I love old old horror and, and anything with, you know, Frankenstein, Werewolf, and Dracula, any type of that movie like that, I like, I love those. And to say this movie is, is just, this is an Italian horror movie, and I considered one of the worst <laughs> Italian horror movies ever. This movie is, uh, is just surreal. Let me uh, tell you what the plot summary of this movie is. It's basically a Neanderthal man <laughs> is lynched by local villagers, okay, and count, Frankenstein, that's right, Count Frankenstein, okay, <laughs> Count Frankenstein, think about that, Count Frankenstein, okay, not Dr. Frankenstein, even though he is a doctor in this movie, it's Count Frankenstein, okay, him and his assistants, <laughs> they steal the body and uh, basically bring the monster back to life, or, or the Neanderthal man back to life, okay, okay, and of course, that you have your angry villagers, in the movie, not, it's not many of them, but they're but they're angry, <laughs> okay. And there's and there's a few of them, okay. And some of them have torches, okay. And you have a midget, and the midget guy I recognize from I think from the Wild Wild West TV show. His name is Michael Dunn, and I forgot the character he played on that show, but uh, but he, I recognize him. <coughs> Excuse me, he was one of the assistants, and he was a pervy <coughs> assistant, okay. All oh, copping feels on dead women's bodies and. And uh, uh, repeating on the uh, the daughter of uh, the daughter of, of Count Frankenstein and her friend who came to visit, and basically the movie is but basically about Count Frankenstein, of course, you know, bringing this Neanderthal man. And don't ask me why there's the cavemen ro roaming around in this village, okay? But there are, okay. There's supposed to be rumors about it, but you see the caveman. There's besides the caveman that gets. You know, killed and, and resurrected by Frankenstein. There's another caveman who kind of befriends the uh, the midget, okay, and takes him in. So, and it's not like the guy's hiding that much. So I don't know why they, they kind of try to say that it, it's a myth. But you see the guy walking around <laughs> in the daytime, you know, biggest day, okay. So I don't know how m much of a myth it's supposed to be when the guy's roaming around. Anyway, like I said. Um, the gist of it is that Frankenstein's daughter is getting married, right? And she comes home with her uh, professor, who's a hot... Uh, and that's another thing. You have the two of the hottest women ever in this movie. Uh, you have the uh, you know, Frankenstein, Count Frankenstein's daughter, who brings her fiancé uh, just for one night, actually, which kind of doesn't make sense. But, but anyway, she brings her, her fiancé and uh, her professor, which is a, another hot blonde, <laughs> okay, to, you know, to visit her father, you know, for the weekend, and, or, or for the week, I guess, and you get this, you know, there's nudity in it, okay, like I said, you got two really incredibly hot women in the movie, so that you can get your nudity in there, and you get a lot of terrible acting, okay, and Count Frankenstein is played by, uh, what's the guy's name, the actor's name, because I read Rosanna Braza, who's a, a famous actress, and he was in, uh, I think he was in, was he in the, I think he, besides the Omen movie, I think the third one he was in, and I think he was in, um, hold on, let me click on his name, because I think he was in, uh, was he in South Pacific, or I'm thinking somebody else, uh, yeah, or was that a, yeah, hold on, let me see what movies, but, because I think, I could have sworn he was in, uh, hold on. Let me see. I know he was in a. Oh, I think he was. No, I could have sworn. Hold on. Let 
Let me see something. Yeah, yeah, he was in the old movie. I know he was. Yeah, because he was the priest. Yeah, in the old movie, the third one. And was he in South Pacific? Or, yeah, he was in South Pacific. I knew that. Because I, I, I know that because his name. Anyways, why he's in this movie, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, and this, they said this is considered one of the worst uh, uh, Frankenstein movies ever. <laughs> And it, it, the movie is hilarious to watch. I mean, it's you got the pervy midget who basically think about this: the pervy midget is who, like, one of the assistants uh, for uh, Count Frankenstein, who's constantly trying to, you know, basically see any new, you know, see the hot chicks nude or anything and catch them. And, and then they see he he gets actually kicked out by one of Frankenstein's assistants who's. Who reminds me of Peter Laurie, whose wife is having an affair with the hunchback. There's a, a hunchback assistant, believe it or not, okay, that's having an affair with the Peter Laurie sidekick. He's having an affair with his wife, uh, and again, like I said, you have the you have the local official, the police chief, who who every once in a while, you know, the villagers come up to his door and basically say, "You got to, you know, this gray, you know, because Frankenstein." Uh, robs two graves, I guess, and they said there's, you know, and they immediately say, okay, it's Frank's son doing it, and you got to do something about it, and and the guy is basically saying, nah, I ignore it. Yeah, come on, Doctor Carl Frankenstein is, you know, he takes in and all, you know, takes he takes in all these guys, you know, he, leave them alone, basically, and until actually then somebody gets actually murdered, and then he goes to to ask Carl Frankenstein, uh, you know, to question him. But he still doesn't seem to have any kind of urgency uh, to these grave robbings and murders. <laughs> but uh, it's just the the movie is uh, is just you have so many. I say, I'm trying to describe this. It's the pace of this movie is ridiculous, ridiculously slow. Like I said, the midget who befriend he gets thrown out because uh, he basically uh, spies on Frankenstein. You know. You know, he, he sneaks into his lab where Frankenstein is experimenting on the, uh, the you know, the, 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 the uh, Neanderthal that got stoned. And, and that's another thing. <laughs> the, the, the opening scene is the Neanderthal standing on top of a, of a mountain. Basically, people are throwing things at him, <laughs> and he's throwing things back at them. <laughs> you can tell the phony rocks and everything else. They, they're throwing stuff until finally some villager comes up behind him and hits him in the head with a phony rock and says, I got him, I got him. And then... Everybody else kind of beats him down, and then he dies, and then, you know, they sneak his body out, and it's it's the funniest scene ever, okay? This movie is just absolutely, it is horrible, and it's it's like a slow pace, and, and the Neanderthal man that uh, Frankenstein, you know, resurrects, he gives him a nice shave and and a haircut and stuff, but, you know, and experiments on his brain, and, he, and Frankenstein, even, Count Frankenstein even has... So, you know, I guess because he's Italian, he has time to woo the uh, uh, professor, the hot professor of his daughter. You know, you know, he has time to woo her, and she's fascinated with uh, Count Frankenstein. You know, because you know she wants to be a scientist too. And I, 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 I think an anthropologist, she says. And she, so she, you know, she's not freaked out at all about Frankenstein. Basically, <laughs> you know, well, she says a little something about it, but then she kind of just poo poos it. And, Course, because he's getting romance by uh, Count Frankenstein, who, who, and I guess they call him Count Frankenstein because he's more like Dracula in that you know he's he's basically seducing this incredibly hot uh, uh, teacher, you know, and showing her his experiments, you know, a little at a time, and wooing her, and uh, at the same time, after the midget <laughs> assistant, the pervy midget assistant gets thrown out by Frankenstein for spying on his experiments. And he gets thrown into the woods. <laughs> okay, he gets befriended by a caveman for no explicable reason. A caveman sees him wandering in the, in, in the forest and basically just grabs him and takes him back to his cave and, and you know, you know, gives him meat and befriends him. And of course, now uh, this midget can get his revenge on Count Frankenstein. Okay, he wants revenge on Count Frankenstein for throwing him out. Okay, and I won't tell you how he gets his revenge, which is so wacky <laughs> and ridiculous, but hey, this is the movie. It is what it is. And this movie, I say, when was this movie made? Because they show lots of <laughs> lots of scenes of thunder and lightning, okay? And 
Where was this movie made? Hold on, I need to back this up a bit. I was looking at, uh, what's about uh, biography. Uh, this movie was made in 1974. Yep, and it definitely looks like it. Okay, and it's just, uh, like I said, you get your nudity, your bad acting, <laughs> your, your fake angry villagers, your midget perverts, midgets, and you got your caveman, and then you got your resurrected creature who kind of runs amok when he's finally resurrected. Okay, you even have Sp Count Frankenstein showing, you know, using the hot assistant, you know, to test the monster, believe it or not. There's a great scene where he tests, basically says, you know, takes her into the lab to test, you know, you know, which basically shows her how the monster reacts to certain things by, first by kissing her, and then by throttling her <laughs> to get a reaction out of the monster, which is insane to watch. <laughs> but uh, the movie is just absolutely... It's entertaining in a bad, in a really bad way, okay? And I couldn't take my eyes off it. Actually, I even went back to to rewind it to watch other certain scenes again because it was just surreal to watch, okay? But as a movie, it's absolutely horrible. <laughs> and I can see why they say it's, uh, it's one of the worst uh, uh, Frankenstein movies ever made. It, it, it is. Because like I said, you have a lot of... Uh, Count Frankenstein making speeches a lot of a lot of the time in this movie. He's, you know, uh, it's not that uh, what's his name Rosanna Brazio can't act. He can't act, but it's just you know a lot of the movie he's making speeches and stuff, and of course wooing the incredibly hot uh, uh, teacher that his daughter brings with with him. And there's also a sequence, okay, where this and this is I guess this is the excuse to have them new, which I didn't mind, but. Uh, where the daughter takes the, uh, the hot teacher, they take, she takes her out into a cave, and, and they have this, I guess, uh, underground spring. And she said, listen, this is great for uh, relaxing. And, and, and of course, they have to go get new and to go, in and go in and test it, right? And then, of course, you have your pervy midgets spying on them, of course. This is an excuse for the pervy midget <laughs> to spy on the incredibly hot women, okay? And I thought this movie is just, like I said, it's, it's really bad, but it's really kind of funny in an entertaining kind of way. So I would give uh, Frankenstein's Castle Freaks. Uh, it's pretty. It's pretty bad. I would give it a. Uh, I would give it a. I would give it a five. No, not a five. Five. I think it's being too kind. I'm gonna give it a four. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a four. But it's kind of. It's still entertaining in that bad way. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna give it a. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a four, okay, just because, I mean, just, you know, even with the incredibly hot women in there, and, but, you know, you got your pervy hit midgets, your angry villagers, and besides Rosanna Brazio, who's, I think, the only decent actor in the movie, everybody else is absolutely horrible. But, like I said, what can you expect for a movie like this, I guess? Not the best acting in the world. So, but I'm gonna give it a four out of ten, okay? But, like I said, I found it mildly entertaining, so that's my rating for it, okay? Uh, anyway, let me know what you think. <laughs> Have you seen Frankenstein Castle Freaks? Uh, feel free to leave comments down below. This is Trey Passer for the Horoscope 101 channel and also for uh, Trey Passer's Saturday Horror Review saying so long and take care.